Oh, we got fish on. First fish of the day. What do we got? A little croaker. All right, not bad. I'm just casting right up against the uh, the structure here. First fish of the day, little croaker, we'll go ahead and let it go. Good morning guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a review of my paddle board that I have set up for fishing. We'll start at the front and then we'll work our way to the back. Let's get started. Front of the paddle board here, you've got this nice carry handle here. Very, very useful for getting the paddle board in and out of the water and transporting it. Uh, you got one here at the front. You have one here in the middle and you also have one on the rear. Let me move this out of the way. This is a, the front of the paddle board here, as you can see. It's got a beautiful, beautiful design. This, the, this is the native floral jaws design. It's got these sharks right here. You have these D-rings, multiple D-rings here that help to secure your belongings with these bungees. And what I do is I store a tackle tray or I keep my net up front here. So I'm going to put the net up front. This paddle board does come with a three piece paddle, as you can see here. I have it leashed. This is a yak gear attachment. I have it leashed to the side here. This is a uh, another D ring here on the side. As you guys can see, a lot of deck space to work with. It comes with this BVA foam deck pad. Helps to keep everything dry up front. On the side, you can see it says boat, breeze. A little bit of specifications about this paddle board. This paddle board is 10 foot, 8 inches long. The width is 33 inches across. It is six inches uh, as far as the thickness and the approximate weight of the paddle board when you fully inflate it is 20 pounds. Total weight capacity is 250 pounds. The materials of the paddle board is an inflatable Aero Ultra technology. It's a uh, PVC plastic material. The recommended inflation is about 10 to 15 PSI and the time as far as to uh, inflate it if you were to completely deflate it take it to your destination and inflate it is about 10 to 15 minutes with a hand pump if you uh, fully load it in the bag uh, the weight of the bag is about 26 pounds right out the box this is what's going to come with it is this nice backpack here this is a travel case i'm going to flip it over It's a beautiful, beautiful bag here. Very, very sturdy. And then you come with this, uh, it comes with this hand pump here. And then over here you have your owner's manual and you have this repair kit here. That's what's included in the bag uh, whenever you buy the paddle board. And it also comes with a three piece paddle. Okay, let's take a real quick look at the attachment of the ice chest. This ice chest is a Magellan 30 quart and it has four rod holders one two 
three four rod holders here and the only modification that i did to this uh, ice chest is that i put very very small screws here as you can see just to make it real sturdy as far as the rod holders because if you don't do that these things will fall out and you potentially could lose your gear the other thing that i did was i, I got these cam straps here these are just regular straps that i got from walmart and i cut them down to fit that way it, it will strap into this point here and then it'll go into this d-ring right here and i have one on this side and one over here as well and this will keep your ice chest very secure on the board you don't have to worry about it falling off or, or losing any type of gear uh, very secure setup here let's go ahead and open up the chest here inside this is a 30 quart got a lot of space to work with and when i go out onto the water i typically try to be as compact as possible so i'm only going to carry one tray um, this one here is my salt tray, my salt water tray. And in here, I've got different types of paddle tails, different types of soft plastic lures. I've got my hooks, uh, different styles of hooks here. Uh, these are like two odd, three odd hooks, some terminal tackle, some DOA shrimp, some other shrimp lures here, and some down south lures. And that's really all I carry. That is my salt water tray that I that I carry with me. Only one tray. Now, if I'm going fresh water, this is my fresh water tray here. And in here, I've got different colors of worms. I've got my terminal tackle. Same setup. Uh, two to three aught circle hooks here. Different style of hooks. Jig heads. Um, soft plastics. These are, I think these are like baby brush hogs here. Uh, these are some crawfish, uh, these are flukes, and uh, a couple of paddle tails there. And that's really it. That's my freshwater tray. Very, very simple. Try not to carry more than I have to. Inside the ice chest here, I keep the uh, fin. And I have pliers. This is a dry box here. I'll keep my phone and additional camera batteries in this box here. A towel just to uh, wipe my hands. This is my anchor. Some additional line. The grips here. Scissors and uh, a measuring device. And that's it. That's all I carry inside of this ice chest and I'll also carry uh, water and food. Just some extra knickknacks or any other supplies that I may need while I'm underway. Now on the back side here, get that closed. On the back side here, if I do carry live bait, this is my live bait. I carry it here on the back side and I keep it strapped. I keep, it, I keep it attached right here onto the back of this rear D-ring here. I also have another attachment here. This is another attachment. This rope right here, I'll clip it to my life vest. So I'm actually attached to the paddleboard. In the event that I fall off or something happens, I stay with the paddleboard and everything is secured. Another thing I forgot to mention is the front here. This is the front of the board. Uh, they call this a entry rocker. And basically the, the nose is pointed up just a little bit like this. And what that's supposed to do is help shed water. So when you guys are out on the water paddling and you guys get water over the deck, this nose is pointed up like that. And that's meant to help to shed water. I find that um, when I do paddle, you can get a little wet, but it's not it's not too terrible. You got this logo here, boat, and the other attachment for the ice chest is on this side here that we had looked at earlier. You have this BVA BVA foam deck pad, keeps everything nice and dry. And on the back side, you also have this this beautiful design here with the boat design here 
and you have this rear inflation valve that's located here and you open it like this you're just gonna make a turn and inside you have this valve here and if you push down on this valve it'll release the air and then if you push it again into the top position it stops so let's go ahead and try that that's what it does there that's the release valve and you want to make sure you keep this cover you don't want to have any type of dust or filth or sand or anything go inside this valve so we'll go ahead and shut this back up Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. You've got this rear, this rear carry handle here. Again, this is real useful for transporting the paddleboard in and out of the water. And uh, the underside here, you've got these two fins here, these two side bite fins. Let's go ahead and flip the paddleboard over so you guys can take a real quick look. So we flipped the paddle board over. This is what it looks like on the bottom side. You've got this nice big logo here, boat, and another logo here. And then you've got these uh, two side bite fins. These are molded into the actual paddle board. And then you have this 10 inch fin here. It's removable as you can see here. And you basically just slide it in like so, all the way in. And it has a clip, it has a clip right here that you would just slide in and it secures the fin in place and with that fin uh, and these two side bites it tracks incredibly well on the water right over here aero ultra inflatable sup we've stripped everything off the board here we took off all the uh, fishing gear the ice chest and this is what it looks like without all the accessories it's just the paddle board and the paddle and I have the the leash right here on the side it is a little tipsy at first when you get on the board but as you get used to it it gets better um, you have to keep a low center of gravity and it, it feels incredibly stable if you if you're in the kneeling position or the sitting position but it can be a little tipsy if you're standing. Very easy to paddle. It's relatively fast on the water. Um, it responds very quickly, believe it or not. As soon as you start to paddle, it will respond very quickly. Very lightweight, easy to transport guys, easy to rig up for fishing. Um, for storage, I just keep it on the side. I will uh, let out some air right over here on the rear inflation valve. I will let some air out uh, to store and I store it on its side you will need a anchor if you intend to fish from this platform definitely an anchor is a must because what happens is when you get out on the water the current or the wind will push you around and it's just difficult to maintain position without an anchor but overall this paddle board it, it's it's been it's been pretty nice it's a lot of fun when you get out there in the water I beat this thing up already I've gone on this paddle board four trips and I've hit log stumps, I've hit submerged pilings and barnacles and I've already made a repair right here as you guys can see this this patch right here uh, very similar to like a, a bicycle patch if you guys ever repair like a flat tire on a bicycle it's the same uh, same concept they just give you a little bit of this uh, it's like a PVC plastic and it's uh, marine marine silicone and you just rough the edges a little bit on both sides and you put the patch on it cures over 24 hours it's very strong and durable but uh, i got this this puncture here from a hook of all things i was bringing the fish in and the hook the hook hit that spot right there and it was a very slow leak it took about two days for me to even notice that the uh, board was losing air all right guys that's going to do it for today's video I hope you guys found the information useful over the Boat Breeze 10 foot 8 inch uh, paddleboard, inflatable paddleboard here. I uh, want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys aren't subscribed, do me a favor, hit the subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Until next time guys, I'll see you. Take care. Bye.